Chai Biao and Tang Yanhua, China. On my left, Chris and Gabrielle Adcock, England. Thank you, Howard Sirto, Chris Adcock. Love all. Play. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> what a start. That was excellent. Couldn't fall with that. And it looks like Tang Jinhua is really meaning business. Two fantastic shots, interceptions in the first two rallies here. And two love up for China. Over. Way One, past two. the baseline, that lift. Oh, yeah, that's two, clever play four. by Chris Atcock here. Playing that mid court area, out maneuvering Tanjing Hua at the net, finding the gap next to her on the backhand side. Oh, what a backhand smash! Great Third interception number. there by Tanjing Hua. That was really something you don't often see that. Women's Babinson. Very strong. Yeah, yeah. She really means business. Four, covered that net so well. Played the shot, covered that net so well. Good coverage. 4-2 for China. is complaining that she can't really see the shuffle from uh, Chai Yao when he's serving because uh, Tang Jinghua is standing in the way and uh, that's not allowed so uh, the umpire was kindly asking Tang Jinghua to move a little bit to the side. So Chris and Gabby also played together as juniors where they won a silver medal at the World Junior Championships in 2007. But later on was split up and uh, Chris Atcock was playing with Imogen Bankia. And that's when he did that wonderful result at the World Championships in London in 2011, winning that silver medal as well. They have worked their way Six, all the way up five. to five on the world ranking. It's not because they have really been in many finals. They've been in seven quarterfinals, two semifinals, one final 
and one win, so two finals in total. In the past 12 months, but that's enough to take you as high as five in the ranking. What a nice flick serve that was. It's going wide. Seven, five. Somehow, I think the tactics from uh, the English point of view must be to neutralize Zhang Jinghua because she seems to be on fire at that net and they have to get out of that somehow. Serve it over. Six, eight. by Chris Atcock from the baseline. Seven, eight. Out. Just out on that sideline. So, judging from the early stages of this match, it looks like the English pair really have to work hard for their points, while the Chinese pair is having it a little bit easier when they score points. They don't have to work just as hard. That's what the English pair have to do. Ah, oh, that's neat. Good angle. by Chai Biao at smash across it was very very good angle to it made sure that Gabby Atcock couldn't attack it and play flat down the line because it was so steep so 10-8 to China Played the intercept interception by Gabby Atcock. Well, somehow it looks to me that uh, Tang Jinghua, she is really on fire, ready to try to win that second title of today, where somehow Chai Biao is, is feeling it more. 
and the effort he made in, in the first round or in the first match of today where they played the compatriot Fu Hai Feng and Xiang Nan. They were winning in two sets, but still it seems like uh, he is not moving as well as what he did in that men's doubles, according to how I see it anyway. I serve its judge Carol E. Fergal. Yeah, he missed a few of those today. Have to be careful, he's not over committing, too eager to win the points easily. That's well left. So it's over. 12 all. The English pair is obviously standing on the slow end of the court. And it does affect the Chinese play a bit that uh, they not freely can lift whenever they want to. Good attack, very, very good attack by Chris Atcock, Gabby Atcock. 13, 12. First one interception, second interception. It's really good. So, 13, 12 up. So far, mainly the two Chinese players have made an impact on the even doubles, the women's doubles and the men's doubles. <laughs> Having mentioned earlier that uh, Tang Jinghua has won now eight out of the last nine tournaments she's participated in, in the women's doubles. And for Chai Biao, his best results in the men's doubles is runners-up in Japan Open 2013 and the Malaysian Open in 2014. A relatively new pair in the mixed and they, I'm sure, are still working on, on how to find their footings in uh, this new category for them.
bit of a lucky shot there from Chris Atcock. But it did the damage. Just a small mistiming in it. again drifting long by a big margin 40. setting up a good lead here for the English pair 17 14 three points and it's interesting to see that the English pair had worked a lot, lot harder to get to this final 15, than their opponents 17. They play, play three sets against Praveen Jordan and Debbie Susanto of Indonesia, where they lost uh, the first set 21 23, and then they won second and third 21 14, 21 17. In the semi final yesterday, they also had to work very hard against Cheng Liu and Bao Yixin of China, where they also no, they actually won the first game 21-18, but lost the second game 19-21, and won the last one 21-17. So here, that one is going long. And the Chinese combination is only one point adrift. Push down the line. Good return of surf. Surf cover. 18, 16. Some encouragement from the crowd to the English pair. It's going wide. Setting up. Three game 20 points. 2017. Points That's good defense. First time of asking. First, First game Chris, uh, to Chris Atcock, Gabriel Atcock from England against Chai Biao and Chan Ching Hua. 21 17. Well covered by Gabby in this situation here. Confirmation, 21-17. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, Chai Biao can find the last resources of today and make an impact in this mixed doubles finals as in what he did in the men's doubles earlier today.
20 seconds. It's called by umpire Hawken Foster. Who actually was the keen badminton player himself from Sweden when he was younger and in the mid 70s. Second game, love all, play. One of the rare service mistakes from Gabby Atcock. Don't see them very often. Well, they got one back here by Tang Jing Hua. So it's all square again. Start to the second game by the English pair. Four one up. Serve. Yeah, that's clever. Good play by Chris Atcock. She really, really, really worked hard in this rally. Had to smash on so many occasions. And cleverly played by Chai Yao, the last deciding shot. Cross the net. Still having this three point lead, six three up.
Yeah, once again here, the importance makes doubles, having the attack, adding on the pressure on the opponents, so important. And once again, Chris Atcock managed to score a point for the pair. Good flicks over again. Yeah, good smash to the forehand side of the body of Tang Jinghua. Very difficult to defend. She is sort of debating with herself whether she should have used the forehand, but was very committed to the backhand defense for that shot. going wide. Would have been a difficult shot to play for Chai Biao. He would have been a lot under pressure. That lift there, look at how late he's getting to it. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see how they make much more use of that mid-court area. Have a tendency to push far too much, flat and fast and furious. But sometimes it's very clever to take off the pace and play these very short half-court, mid-court areas. And that can really make a lot of damage and set up many, many opportunities. I like to see that a lot more. See, now we're talking Flat exchanges, fast, furious. Played by Gabby Atcock. How oh, she controlled the net. That one there. One more coming. Another one there. Still play really solid shots there at the net. See, that's what I mean. Tang Jinghua is nowhere near that shot. And it's very difficult for partner Chai Biao, also serving and having to cover the other three corners. So, cleverly played. Good high serve again, good flick serve. Yeah, good, good, good play. Good play at the net by Gabby Atcott. First that one, and another one here, and then the last one, perfect. And one more up there, scoring the points, 11-7 up. In this mid-game interval, having won the first game, 21-17. Eleven seven. Play. Oh, what a miss. 
service over. Great opportunity. Eight, 12. That could have make a huge difference. 13, seven. Now it's 12, eight. Uh, that's good play. Excellent play. Moving tank on the baseline. Deep into that backhand corner. Uh, she's smiling. She knew she was in big, big trouble in that one. that well played by Chris Atcock kept the attack the whole time from that baseline even had to cover the net at one stage pushed it deep into the corner set it up for his partner mistimed it completely but so did uh, Chai Biao when uh, he played it uh, wide on that sideline So as the spectators are shouting, at least one of them, only seven points to go for the English pair, 14-8 up in this second game. Yeah, I could cross court smash. 15-8. No doubt in the mind of the umpire, Hook and Foster. That was the fault. Caveat Cock hit the net as and when she was playing that shot. Smash by Chai Biao. Very nice placement. And a string is gone. Just testing the racket. pair really have to be cool and calm. Correction. Out. Over. 16, oh. The umpire again, Hook and Foster is in the picture. He was overruling that shot from Chai Biao on the baseline. It was called in, but he called it out. He was sure otherwise he wouldn't have done it. Giving the point to the English pair. So nerves kind of settling in here with another service mistake by Gabby Atcock. 11-16 is heating up. But it looks like chances are small for Xiao Biao and 
Tang Ching-Hua to be doubles champions, winning the men's doubles, the women's doubles, and the mixed doubles. <laughs> Trading now 12-17. Serves over. Having lost 12, the first game. 17. Set up. Serves over. 18, 12. Yeah. Chai Biao was trying to get away with a, a tricky shot here, but Kambiak Kok was really ready and saw it. Nice. Oh, what a deception on that shot. Really tricky shot. Well played by Chris Atcock. Completely wrong 19, footing. Chai well. Biao. Wonderful play. That one there. Excellent. Only two points away from victory. And it's not coming there. Over. Good length by Tang. 13, 19. Oh. Service over. Oh. 20 match Seven ma match 13. points lined up. 20, 13. For Mr. and Mrs. Atcock. And it comes first time of asking. Really well played by the English pair. Winning 21 17, 21 13. Well deserved. They've worked so hard in this tournament and came through yesterday in a thrilling match against the other Chinese pair, Cheng Liu and Bao Yixin, and today against Chai Biao and Tang Qinghua. Excellent, really well done by the pair, and maybe that will even push them higher in the ranking now. And here we've got the confirmation, 21-17, 21-13.